okay so welcome to this new video series which will be called as icu talks and they will be numbered as icu talk 1 2 3 4 like we number our icu shots icu shots 1 2 3 4 and the name has been finalized by the suggestion of you all we received on the channel and why we started this icu talk there is a purpose in day to day practice in our icu we come across many interesting facts while reading or while seeing the patients or while discussing with our colleagues juniors and seniors and these are very practical important points or investigations or something interesting on the x-rays or ecgs anything which we came across and these facts at times doesn't deserve a whole 40 60 minutes lecture but they do deserve some uh, emphasis of three four minutes or something like that which are which will make our day-to-day -day life in the icu very useful and it helps in improving so this video series will be a shorter video series will be which will be somewhere around six to eleven minutes and it will be a casual one like i was reading something and i uh, came across a fact so i will be sharing with you i can be sharing while uh, in the, my way to hospital or in the hospital or wherever i find uh, a place and time to share with you all so it will be a casual one it will not be detailed lecture but it will be useful so today's point is the question uh, is which is asked very frequently that or I should say when we come across a scenario in which we see a plural report and there is an ADA done. Adenosine diamines levels are there and the ADA levels are somewhere around 45, 50, 60 and the patient has been started on anti-tubercular drugs. So we all know that ADA is an indirect marker to confirm whether this patient is having a tuberculosis or not tuberculosis. But in critical care you need to have some important points, keep the points in mind. Now, ADA, liver, ADA is secreted by the lymphocytes and when patient is infected by tuberculosis, it, it infects the lymphocytes and the lymphocytes secretes the ADA levels in a larger quantity. So, this is the principle behind that. So, we are talking about specifically ADA in the pleural fluid. So, what happens when we tap the pleural fluid and when we get the report? we find that ADA levels are pretty high, somewhere around 40, 50, 60, 70. So, first thing, which cutoff we should take. So, it depends whether we are living in a uh, tuberculosis low prevalence area or tuberculosis high prevalence area. So, in the western world, tuberculosis is not so much prevalent. So, they take a cutoff of 40. So, if the AD levels are less than 40, they think that it's the patient may not be having tuberculosis. But if it is above 40, they think that this patient is, may have tuberculosis and can do other tests also to confirm. But in countries where ADA is, uh, tuberculosis is very much prevalent, then you take it, you should take it with a pinch of salt and in there, the, what I could go at from the literature, the cutoff is above 70. So, if ADA levels are between 40, 50, 60, it is intermediate. You can't uh, say comfortably, but it is, if it is above 70 units per liter, then you, uh, you can think that we are heading towards tuberculosis and we should consider diagnosis of tuberculosis in this patient. But in critical care or intensive care, the catch comes where you need to always and always remember that ADA levels can be falsely limited in certain conditions. What are the conditions? One very common, empyema. Means if the patients, you see a report in which the pleural fluid report is where the cells in the pleural fluid are 1300, 13,000, 10,000, 5,000 and you get an AD level of 100. So, AD levels are falsely limited in patients of empyema, paranemonic effusions, uh, paranemonic effusion. So, in this condition, we cannot rely on ADA. So, don't jump to a conclusion that this empyema and the cause is uh, tuberculosis. It's, it will be wrong. In malignancies, in lung CA, in mesothelioma, in lymphomas, in hematological malignancies, in these conditions also ADA levels can falsely rise. So, whenever you see a report in ICU in which the uh, plural fluid is exudative and infective ones, means the lymphocyte, uh, sorry, the total cells are pretty high, means it's, it's infective etiology. Cells are 400, 500, 600, something like that, thousands. So, ADA uh, loses its value and you need to uh, confirm by other tests to prove that this patient is having uh, uh, tuberculosis. So, don't just rely on those ADA levels in such conditions. And also, 
in tuberculosis ADL1 level is increased while in other conditions ADL2 levels are increased but almost all the lab reports gives only ADL levels which is combined of two so we will not go to detail into that so you just remember that if it is an infective pleural fluid where the cells are very high or if the cytology is positive then ADA can be falsely elevated and we should not jump out to the diagnosis of tuberculosis in such patients look for other evidence of tuberculosis or look for other cause of increased ADA in such patients so I hope this would be helpful and this series will be helpful to you all so it's a very casual one do share your views comments and suggestions did you like this uh, initiative and thank you and see you in the next video thank you